Yo, Bucko, it's Zero, come back to you with another figure review. And today we have the Star Wars Black Series Credit Collection Imperial Death Trooper. And, oh, this thing looks very sexy. Um, from the previews alone, I could tell this is going to be one of those figures that I, I, I kind of wish I bought more, honestly. Because, or I wish I had a second one. I mean, I technically do, but I'm not taking that out of the box. But, man, this, everything about this is so much better than the original. Um, which, by the way, as you can see, huge contrast between the two already. So I'm going to be comparing both figures today because I believe he is getting re-released in the archive. So I want you guys to see what you're going to be getting. But, again, this is mostly going to focus on him. So yeah, the Death Troopers. They're pretty badass. I would like to say they kind of remind me of like Navy Seals or something, but honestly, they're more of like bodyguards, I feel like. I don't know. They're elite troops. They're pretty badass. They kick a lot of ass. Um, I feel like we don't get to see them do too much from what we've seen in this, in this series so far. So hopefully in the future they do a little bit more, but yeah, they're pretty menacing as it is. Anyways, moving on to this box, um, I also have the original Death Trooper box, so we're going to take a look at that first. That was number 25, it says in number 25, Death Trooper. In the back of the box says, the elite soldiers of Imperial Intelligence. Death Troopers are encased in specialized Stormtrooper armor with the dark, ominous gleam. These soldiers serve as bodyguards and enforcers for Director Krennic. A highly placed officer within the Advanced Weapons Research Division of the Empire. Or at least they were. Now, they are in a lot more places than just Director Krennic's party guards, but. Side of the box, um, it's the original box since this is number 25. Uh, you still have this window here, it says Imperial Death Trooper. They kind of got like a death trooper on the side going. Alright, now while you're actually here the credit collection death trooper so yeah <sighs> very sexy picture um, here's the back of the box again credit collection all it says is this distinctive collection features premium deco applications inspired by the end credits images from the Mandalorian plus a collectible imperial credit accessory after the fall of the Galactic Empire usage of their form of money, Imperial credits become less common with planets refusing to pay in the currency on principle. Alright, so. Also, the back of the box has really nice artwork, which, again, just slightly larger than my setup. Very nice artwork, so you can see where they're pulling the purple and the orange from, even though you can barely tell with the sun shining there. So it's time to crack this baby out of the packaging. Don't worry, I got a second one of these. Though this is gonna kill me a little bit opening it. All right, and here he is out of the packaging and already of night and day difference between the two. Um, in a second, I'll get, compare the accessories first, but I wanna go ahead and take a look at the one thing you probably don't care too much for, or maybe you do. It's the Imperial credit and this is a very nice like copper bronze color. Um, I actually really like this. This is a cool like cosplay item. Um, not really sure why it has this on the back. Why it has that border. Um, I almost rather it just be like flat or something on the back, but that's always neat. Uh, not sure, really sure where what you could do with this. Probably gonna put this on one of my shelves. So this is a really cool like cosplay item. Yeah, look at that. Very shiny bronze copper color. I really like that. Um, every one of the credit collection figures comes with this in a different color, so I'll show that off when I do my credit collection video, which I still have other figures to open, but I won't be opening them all. Now moving on to the other accessories, All right? And for stars, we have the SE14R. This one's the new one. Comes with the credit collection. This one is the old one. Um, 
my biggest pet peeve with these is that they are just monotone plastic. I don't know. They're not. They're not like. I, I really don't like that they're just one color plastic. There's not even paint on them. Um, I thought originally that that the uh, credit collection one would have had some kind of paint on the end because this does which this completely fixes the blaster for the most part for me but yeah one of my biggest pet thieves these not having any paint um, I'm not really too mad at that I really wish they did honestly yeah I it's nice getting more of these though I wish these came with more figures because I would really love to put these on the stormtroopers like I really wish that the stormtroopers came with these because they really do need to start coming with these because I mean yeah I feel like that's the one thing we lost a blaster rifle so they might as well be giving us the pistol because you're charging more money for it come on <laughs> And that goes ahead and holsters onto this little belt loop thing. Which I really don't like how this is set up. I can never personally figure out which way it's supposed to go in here. This is the proper way. Same thing with this Death Trooper. Um, holsters here. Which again, really don't like the color on. Especially with him. See, the color matches the carbon. Or I want to call it the carbon collection because that's what it was leaked as originally but the credit collection yeah the color matches the credit collection death trooper so I don't really have a problem with it the color does not match this death trooper so that that annoys the crap out of me yeah so I guess it's fine here not fine here now moving on to the main blaster this is an E11D carbine um, didn't even know this was an E11 until I did my research today, but yeah, this thing looks funky. Now, they <laughs> this is the original one, and my biggest pet peeve with this is it has almost no paint. I think there's a little tiny bit of silver here, but you really can't tell. Yeah, there's a tiny, tiny bit of silver here. Hell, I can't even tell. The only other paint here is the orange really don't like that now the credit collection completely kind of fixes it um, it's in it's molded in the same exact color but it has the kind of orange kind of like looks like you've shot you this this blaster has been through some use also has a lot more orange detail Here, let me zoom in honestly You can see that compared to this one, this one's been through the ringer a little bit. It's seen its action. And yeah, this one looks so much better. It's fixed one of my bigger pet peeves with these with this figure. Oh yeah, you can you can see a little silver, but to the naked eye you really can't tell if that's silver there. Yeah, uh Hopefully, if they do the archive, they kind of fix this somehow, or they add more colors to this, because this is this is obnoxious. Seeing this on the shelf, because you're gonna see it like this. You're not gonna see the orange side if you have it like I do. This monotone color is kind of obnoxious, but again, credit collection fixes that. Honestly, I kind of just want to give him this. And again, the gray kind of annoys me gray color yeah this one looks so much better yeah I kind of wish this was like a darker plastic too whatever enough ranting time to move on to the actual figure all right so here's my first problem with these figures um, they are not tall now you're probably like okay who, who really cares about that uh, I kind of do. I'm gonna show you why I kind of find this a problem because it, let me let me just put let me just go get director critic real quick. Oh, 
Okay, I guess it's not as bad as I thought it was, but my biggest problem was I just wish these guys were a little taller or bulkier. I'm not really sure what it needs. I feel like the height might be okay. Maybe like, I don't know, a little extra would have helped, but they, I wish they were bulkier. They, I don't know why, like, they're supposed to be like bulky, but even like a normal stormtrooper is like bulkier than they are. I don't know. They just like never, it just never looked right to me. Um, now there is a third variant of this. It's a three pack variant and he has like, I think it's a grenade pouch or something. That one looks good. It looks like the right proportions just adds a little bit of bulk. I don't know, maybe I'm over overthinking it, but these guys look skinny. They're just missing something, but they still look good. Moving back to the figures. Um, so yeah, the first thing you're going to notice is he's just glossy all the way around. Now, with the new guy, uh, yeah, I got a pet peeve out of the box, and you want to know what that is. There is nothing on the back. I mean, come on. It just it just stops. Whatever. Uh, it's annoying, but honestly, I'm not going to display him from the back. The front is what we're looking at. The purple and kind of orange rust color is what we're here for. Yeah. Um, it's funny, actually didn't like this figure when I first got him um, still have my problems with him but there are some things I like about him he's still pretty detailed um, he's got the buckles and then these buckles are kind of like rusted so that's cool um, belt is like the same color silver <sighs> mine's super dusty this is one of my first imperial figures Pretty much all around. Same exact mold, there's no details on the back. Yeah, so if this guy is getting an archive release, um, I hope they. I don't think they're gonna fix anything, but. Yeah, do want to point out though on this guy, his visor and his little kind of like tube things, they are green. Definitely can't tell on this one definitely cannot or you can kind of tell yeah they're definitely green paint so that's a really nice detail or at least this looks silver ish it's like silver green it's a really weird color but this you could definitely tell it's super green you could tell from a mile away that's green I like that but it's a little too much <laughs> it's a little cartoony I still like that though um, other than that there's not a ton of details yeah, both these figures, not a lot of details. Uh, he's just gray throughout. He's kind of black, the glossy black, and then the gray underneath. So, yeah. I guess there's not too much more to show off here. God, he is dusty. <laughs> so we're just going to move on to articulation. We're going to show it off with the new guy. And yeah, so you got a hinge that goes up into a ball joint at the head get a pretty decent range of movement and then you got a oh yeah they have the rubbery armor does this one have the rubbery armor yes it does it's funny because they I know Sabine was around this time released around this time and she had the rubbery armor too I don't know why they didn't keep doing that with the troops but yeah, he's one of the first troops that has that, so that's really nice. So you got a hinge and swivel. Get really good for a trooper, get really good range. Especially like a older mold trooper. Super good range. You have a single jointed elbow, unfortunately. You have no bicep swivel, like some of these troopers have. You have a hinge and swivel at the wrist. And 
surprisingly just goes side to side. Same with this side. And that is also the same on this figure, which I feel like this would be the one figure I kind of want to have that because blaster aiming is a thing. All right, and then you got a ball joint at the torso. Then your knees kick out that far, back, not that far. Then this also moves a bit. Does it do that on the original figure? Yes, it does. All right, and then you have a double jointed knee. Kind of miss those now. Kicks his own ass. Then you got a hinge at the ankle and a forward facing pin for rocker. Oh, and I forgot the thigh swivels. I always forget the thigh swivels because they're very well hidden most of the time. Now I kind of forgot about this, but I kind of want to show off the painting of this guy a little more. Now the purple goes all the way down this side. Again, stops on the back. There is a little bit of orange, the orange rust color. And then there's also the brown kind of like dirt and then the rust color continues with this side very nice detail on the lines really like that. <laughs> really like that this side again orange now yeah there's nothing on the back and there's no purple in this hand but there is the orange on that hand again kind of wish they did a little more were a little more creative with that but again it's not bad I enjoy this color variation um, that I'll go over that real quick because I feel like I totally missed that but yeah very cool um, I like this colors a lot uh, I like all these credit collection recolors except for the heavy Mando but that's a topic for another time all right so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the 360 view for these guys We're going to show them off to next to some other figures. Here they are next to the Remnant Stormtroopers, which I'm going to say this right now. This is going to look really good with the, these Remnant Stormtroopers. Then also, Director Krennic in the mix. Yeah, 
I feel like they might be right, around the right height. I don't know. That was an old opinion. Definitely think these guys should be a little bit bulkier, though. And here they are next to A and H Lord Vader. And here they are next to a few members of the Ghost Crew. We got Kanan, we got Sabine, we got Chopper, and we got Hera. And here they are next to Boba and Mando. And finally, as always, here they are next to Luke Skywalker Squawker. So yeah, two pretty decent figures. Uh, both have my gripes, which... Uh, <laughs> they're very stupid little gripes. They're still good figures. Um, I don't know, I wish they were a little bulkier. I wish they were painted a little better with the weapons. Well, I mean, the, the cr credit collection one fixes the problem, but... Then I just wish the credit collection was painted on the back. Doesn't really matter. You're never gonna see the back on the shelf. Then I wish these guys are a little bulkier. Wish his weapon was painted a little better. Silver. I don't know if these are getting ar archive re-releases. It may or may not be worth picking it up, depending on if you got the first release or not. Hopefully they at least touch up the silver painting on the weapon. And hopefully, I don't know, what can you do archive-wise? Now, it's just rumored there's going to be archive. I really am kind of doubting it at this point, but it's supposed to come out today if they're going to announce it, so we'll see. If not today, maybe next week, but hey, it's if it is, it's going to be pretty much the same figure. I may end up picking up another one of the archives just to have one, but... The original release is still pretty cheap. You could probably get it from anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks, so don't strain yourself. Again, there is a third version, which I will pick up one day. Um, other than that, pretty decent figures. Uh, it's always good to have another one, especially a remnant one, even though you never get to see that in the show. Very cool painting. Um, and yeah, if you guys miss this out on Amazon, I really hope he goes back in stock. Please don't overpay for this guy. He's cool, but uh, yeah, I don't know if he's worth fifty, sixty dollars. Cool. <laughs> Anyways, you can bring them in warm, or you can bring them in cold. Thanks for watching, and good hunting.